What is going on guys and welcome to my channel to those of you who are new here. I'm just going to say thanks to all of the subscribers that have stayed active and were active since the like 50 subs and uh, to all of you guys that are benefiting from my videos and are new to this channel don't think of yourselves as newcomers but think of yourselves as like my bros because you guys are the ones that are helping we as a community grow. Alright guys so without further ado let's just get right into the tutorial. Alright so um Today's tutorial is going to be something new that um, I think what I can say is that I found this effect and I kind of made it myself. There's um, I just was playing around with After Effects and yeah, because that's what I do in this channel. I find out new effects and sometimes effects that I've seen in other edits and I just um, break them down and show you how to do them in After Effects. Alright, so basically what this is, is it's the easiest color correction ever, well in my book. Uh, compared to um, how you record it, you see it in uh, your Xbox, with, no matter if it's uh, HTTP VR or a Dazzle or Easy Cap, it does look more sharp with the colors and like gold and diamond. And then when you see it in your After Effects or after you recorded it, it does look a little dulled out. So this effect is just going to show you how to sharpen that up. And the name of it is pretty weird. It's called Unsharp Mask. So I don't know if this is with After Effects or without, but I'm pretty sure it's built in. So this is where it is. It's um, it's in your blur and sharpen and unsharp mask. So this is my settings, but I'm just gonna be showing you from from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pre-compose a clip. Um, actually I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, good. So let's just let me just use this clip instead of the other one. So I'm going to try to find a part where it has all of this. Alright, so right here, I'm just going to take it right here. It does look, because uh, this map and this little um, camo, it does make it look a little bit better. But I guess I, it can look much more like, like the game. So what I want to do with the effect is that I'm going to take a um, Control-Alt-Y or Command-Alt-Y, depending if you're a Mac on PC, to get an adjustment layer and then click right click blur and sharpen unsharp mask now unsharp mask and then this is my settings um, for unsharp mask the amount is 72 radius is 92.6 and threshold is 5 now what threshold does is that let's say I can bring it all the way up and basically it's like it's not even there so that's why I like to take maybe 5 because it just blends it in a little bit maybe like the smallest touch probably doesn't even do anything but I just feel like it does something Alright, so 77.5, I think it was. So I think I'm just going to make a preset for this, and you guys can use it anytime. Uh, radius, I don't know what it was. It was like 92.6. Okay. Uh, so this is 72. This is 92.6. And then the threshold was 5. Alright, so the threshold does make a small difference, and that's what I like. This makes those darks. Uh, just, so you can obviously play around with this. I'm just going to take it and put the threshold to maybe like 15 instead and I'll take the radius and keep it to 90 but the amount and turn it down a little bit to maybe 60 and that does look pretty nice it looks much better so if I do what I did in the preview and I take a mask of this I'm just gonna do half of the gun over here then I'll come over here so yeah this is what half of the gun looks like with it and let me just press M so if you can see this is the part that has the color little correction this part doesn't so if I invert that all of this outside has the color correction and this inside doesn't so obviously you can see that the outside looks much better than this dull little circle so if I uninvert that again obviously it does look better with the enhanced unsharp mask I don't know what the frig they need the unsharp mask for it's their choice so let's just take off the mask and use it in the whole clip. You could also like maybe be creative with it and do a mask around this whole uh, gun DSR. And you can do so many cool things with it. And my After Effects is not responding. There we go. That's the worst pen tool thing ever. Alright, so that was my tutorial, guys. Um, thank you so much for 500 subscribers while well, I'm at 499 right now, but it still counts. So. Um, at 500 subscribers, I'm going to be posting a contest 
that's editing contest uh, you you can also um use cinematics and all the details will be inside the contest video so yeah thanks a lot guys and peace